Alright, another one down. No announcements again. I keep getting psyched out by the defeated the tormented Hunlove message. No good loot from that one, sadly, but man, no matter how many times you do it, it gets more comfortable, but it stays rough. One mistake can cost you so much. Uh, 4 minutes 28, not bad, I guess. Good luck, next one! Boom! Enhanced Crystal Limbs! I do believe that is another Bofa for the team right there, boys. Yep, Bofa number 3. That is very, very nice. I Oh, I got a Crystal! I got a Crystal! Oh, it doesn't announce! Crystal of Iowa! Wait, maybe I've had more than one then, because they don't announce and I thought they would. No, that is the first one though. Uh, you boys mind if I use it on an uh, armor? Oh, of course not. Yeah, I don't care. Okay, awesome. Uh, the, attach to crystal. Boss, yeah. Attach to crystal armor, and then it has a little typo in there, which makes it show an at sign W H I W pieces to die in black and slightly power their strength bonuses up. That is sick as fuck. First crystal boys, and then also the pieces to make another bow. I need crystal shots as well, I forgot about that. Uh, there we go. So we can do this for another bofa. Let's do the legs first, because we have the most of those. Boom. Crystal legs black. Wait, do we have a normal pair of legs in the bank? Because then we can compare the stats real quick. One second, I. Uh, Okay, it gives three more ranged strength, three more regular strength, and then everything else is the same. But it's still not a, like a max hit Look, next one! That's pretty good. Oh, nothing! Oh, a crystal, though. And then, oh, let's just open nice. the bag, that's easier. Yep, another crystal, four sack of tokens, four sack of riches, 71 shots. We take those. Alright, gonna go ahead and upgrade the second piece, so it goes from one ranged strength, two strength, two... 3 ranged strength and 5 strength. Can't wait to get a blade of Seldor as well. We just need the middle. One more die. We have a few more crystals to go. Let's see if we get lucky. Next kill, boys. Come on, Uniques. Mm, zero announcements. And then again, no crystal lever, unfortunately. Another one. Loot. No announcements again. Did I get a crystal? Yes, sir. There it is. Crystal number 3. Beautiful. None of them doubled, sadly. So we have no dupes for the teammates, but... That is the first black set completed. Let's go ahead and make the final piece. Unfortunately, it means we can't trade the uh, set around, but I'm sure we'll get another play buddy soon enough. There we go. I think it also adds, it adds rune coin value as well. That's interesting. Wait, except for the helm? That's weird. The body and the legs are 1250 rune coins now. But the helm for some reason is not. Maybe that was just an accidental miss. No, it's still, it still, it doesn't show up in the interface. 1000 for the helm, that's really cool. So if you get a bunch of spare dice, it will at least count as like extra room coins. Big question is, uh, I know my boy uh, uh, Ty has a blue die. Maybe he can check and see if that increases the room coin value as well. Here we go, guys. There it is. I don't know if I'm the first in game to get it, but it looks mighty fine. Maybe someone already got it. It's pretty common. But that is a very nice little upgrade, so 4, 4, and 3 ranged strength on each piece, that's so nice. And then the ranging trim gets an additional buff from all those extra stats, 164 ranged strength in this, looking mighty fine. Just need to get the upgraded Bofa, but these 1 in 50 drops don't want to drop, it ain't really dropping anything for me. Good luck another one, no announcements once again, sadly 2 drop rolls on. The Chaos Luck, that's a bit unfortunate. Alright, sadly just died on the last one. I kinda dead clicked under him, it wasn't even like fully under him, it was just in the corner, but it instantly stomped me for a 70. Just bad timing on that dead click, I guess. Or on that click, whatever. Um, happens, died two times in total out of 12 crystals we had? No, 13 crystals, and I got 11 out of them. So not bad, but... The loot was a little disappointing, let's be real. A little unfortunate in the uh, in the uniques department, but at least we got the dice, but they were very common. They are 1 in 10, the crystal of I love. Oh, the crystal itself is 500 rune coins, that explains. I played a 70, okay. Makes sense. Nice uh, spare rune coins after that point then. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go back to regular hunt left and try and get more crystals, I guess. Oh, finally managed to hit a new PB. 1 minute 13 seconds now using 
this little setup I do a Draco Hammer spec to lower the depth into Kazembo into Bofa Crystal until I get another spec for the bow at the end. That got me a 113, not bad, not bad. Oh look guys, we finally got a drop again, it's been a little while. <coughs> I think I finished another hour earlier, yep. Whew. Crystal Enhanced Limbs. That is a new log slot for this one, need to play by the helm. I would love to get one of the melee weapons already, damn. I mean already. The KC doesn't look like much, but it takes a while man, for real for real. Like definitely like 20-30 kills an hour at the moment that I'm getting, but I've been slacking here and there, I won't deny that. Uh, yeah, nice. Okay, I'm gonna take a small little break. You know what is some fun stuff though? Obviously, we got some bags of tokens and riches, but mainly the sacks are surprising. Holy fuck. A lot of those are from the superior kills, which give significantly bigger amounts. But uh, that is still really nice. We can enchant some on, on tops. You know what? Uh, let's just do the sack of tokens. I kind of enjoy bag of tokens because it doesn't seem to give divine shots when it's sacks. I never seem to get them anyway, but you get a bunch from bags of riches, so why not do that? Uh, can we successfully enchant just one single one of them? What the fuck is this, bro? Give me a bunch of back-to-backs. Yeah, 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 compensation. That looks more like it. Last one. Okay, not too bad. 46 bags gives us some blood money. Only three shots. That's depressing. Cool. 33 sacks of riches, though. Oh, this one has an open all. Ooh, 100k blood money and five sacred tokens. Nice, nice. 1.5 bill cash. 1.7 mil tockle. A few bonusy chests. Some skilling points. Always nice. Not bad, not bad. And then a little bit of extra blood money. And then the big one, 54 sack of tokens. Can we get some nice epic lugs? Oh, I should drop my falcon actually. I don't know if it matters on the bags and stuff, but I, I care more about the sack of tokens. Epic lugs are life. Let's find out. 54 sacks in total. Ooh, that's looking good. 75. Going a little dry. Yeah, it's going up again. Come on, keep rising. 200 epic lugs, 225 regular. Not too shabby. Uh, earlier we got another limbs, I believe. I think it's the limbs that I ended up getting. And because of that, we can now make another bow of Ferdinand. I think that is gonna be number four already, so... Yeah, we're not gonna be slacking on those in the group environment, mean, that's for sure. But I mean, it's three per enchant to get one upgraded, so... You're gonna need a bunch regardless. Uh, crystal shots is what I was looking for. There we go. Another bow of Ferdinand, number four. Very nice. Oh, and also you can use crystals on the bows. Did you did you guys know that yet? That's why mine is red now. <laughs> Not the upgraded one, it's just using a crystal on it. Anyone else can do it. You can also get a cleaning cloth from the store, so just a little bonusy tip. But uh, yeah, you can just make the bow for blue like that. And then if you want to take it off, just do that and you even get the crystal back. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Get all the bow us. Alright then, just finished recording my hunt left guide. Tried melee kills as well, but it definitely wasn't as good. Maybe with the AGS or it could have been better, but yeah, range just slaps too hard. Gonna continue to grinding the boss now. I still have some elixirs running, so don't want to waste that time. Uh, I'm gonna voice chat with Ghost and Skeleton, who are also both killing the hunt left boss, so... Hopefully one of us can see some good loot, and preferably some more of those gosh darn uh, crystals to fight the other boss, because that is really the most important thing for us right now, getting those upgrades. Let's hope. Hey, we'll look at that, boys. Just cleared Way of the Wolf, number three, that is uh, my normal achievements completed again, I assume. I haven't even looked at the reward, where, where are they? Three tradable M tickets, very nice. Price key and mystery chest and a pet mystery box. God damn. That is very nice. I do, as soon as we get more crystals, I guess I'll do my five challenge mode kills. That's gonna be rough, no doubt. But once we get that done, I'll even uh, have the elite comp cape again. So that's gonna be nice as well. Just gotta get some goddamn drops. That's not been happening at the moment. We'll claim these achievements, see if we get anything juicy from it. Oh wait, I could have given that to Ghost in hindsight. Whoops. Oh well. Pet box, no, I needed upgrades. Heaving blessing is nice and will save the M tickets for, of course, wonder tokens. Should now be able to use my comp cape at, at least again. Might as well break from not having it. But we don't have the e comp yet, sad life. 
All right, just finished another hour with a beautiful death. I sometimes get content at the end of the kill. It was 27 HP. I thought it would die to the next arrow, and it just stopped moving, and tornadoes killed me. So I'm, I'm a dumbass sometimes. Anyway, the, the last good amount of kills haven't been too great. I mean, we did get that one limps, and we have all the bow pieces on the log and the legs. Got a pet, which is definitely lucky, but... Yeah, I'm mostly upset about the stupid crystals to fight the superior and the fact that we don't have a melee weapon on any of the accounts yet, because I just really want to test melee. Executioner OP. I uh, need another plate buddy to finish our second set, and then probably a helm and a plate for the third, etc, etc. It's just not dropping much at the moment. And yeah, this is where it's all about. We gotta get these stupid tormented crystal sigils. That is all I really care about at this current point in time. But it will come. Sounded is grinding, Ghost is grinding, Ty is sleeping, but he'll grind when he wakes up. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go have a smoke. I've been grinding, I just finished another hour. I need a break again. Well, there it is, Boy Skeleton with another pair of legs. He's literally had two uniques, which were both the legs. He also got a crossbow piece, which is, like, nice. Close to making our fifth bofa, but... We keep getting legs! That is a problem! <laughs> we need plate bodies and helmets. We already have so many of them. Oh well, it is what it is. Hopefully some other pieces. I think that's like legs number six in total or something. Six or even seven, I wouldn't be surprised. Yet we only have one plate and two helms. So hopefully that comes in soon. More both is nice. Really want to get a blade of Seldor or even the Crystal 2H just to try out, but uh... Yeah. Not too lucky so far, but early on we got really lucky, so I guess that's kind of fair. So, we noticed crystal items were going for a pretty hefty price and there are zero legs in the trading post at the moment, so why not drop two if we have so many anyway and we're probably gonna get much more and see if we can make a little bit of profit from them. I'm gonna try to put them in there for like 15 bill since there are none in there, but if it doesn't sell, I'll lower it a bit. I'll keep you guys updated. And definitely expect some uh, e-comp rush related videos to hunt left, no doubt. I mean, I gotta do 100 for the achievement. But then on top of that, just as a money maker, this seems to have a lot of potential, I won't lie. Alright, I was just about to log in again, came back from my smoke break. And even though we just had like a couple of hours of near no drops, the minute I leave, everything starts pouring in. So I just put all the screenshot into one, just for convenience sake, real quick. Uh, Skeleton got another crystal body, so that finishes our second set. Then Ghost gets a doubled two-hander axe into a blade of Zelda back to back. And then Goba on my account, because I had the crystal and stuff, so he could use that more easily. It becomes untradeable, you would have to take the dice off, that's annoying. Also got an enhanced crystal sigil, which finishes our fifth bow of Ferdinand, so that's pretty cool. Now we have a Blade of Seldor and we have the two-handed axe, so I want to go ahead and try out both to see how they perform. Alright boys, over here we have the Blade of Seldor with a Crystal Blessing. I'll grab an armament just for comparison's sake, but I can already tell you this one is significantly higher. 25% is a lot, and there's Goba making our fifth bofa real quick in the background. Um, armament's Blessing, why not? Uh, yeah, I think that just about covers it. Already got all the best stuff I currently have on me. Just to get a bit of an idea of what we can hit here. Well, let's give it a go. I mean, I already know it might not be fully accurate because it's a dummy, but... There's 102, so that means you can proc a 204 with the Executioner. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Now, I'm already aware from someone else that the X is currently a bit bugged in how you equip it. But apparently not in this setup? What? Someone else was wearing it and they had it like a tiny X extended in front of their body. It looked very weird, but apparently not for me. Huh. Right, well, let's see what this can hit. 118. Oh, it's really slow. There's 52 more strength bonus, I guess. Also doesn't have a special attack. Not sure about the usage for this. It's a cool, funny little thing, but I mean, if you don't have the sail door, I guess it's an option. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is a four tick weapon and it has a max hit of 102, and this is what, a six tick weapon? It seems really slow. I feel like it's six ticks, and it only hits 16 higher than the other one. That's not fantastic. <laughs> not sure about that one. Just for our comparison's sake with the armaments, look at it goes down that much. 
Crystal Blessing is 25% damage and accuracy, so you can imagine it's pretty fucking good. Oh wait, we could even... You know, when it comes to hitting a dummy, we can definitely grab... Ah, shit. Ah, whatever, someone is using it, so never mind, but uh... Yeah, that is what that looks like. It's not too shabby. I'm gonna go try it at the hunt left. Curious to see how this will do, because I have a huge accuracy bonus, as I've mentioned a few times at this point. So I'm kind of curious to see if, regardless of using melee, I can still hit well on it or not.